So today is a pretty special day because we get to go salmon fishing for the first time ever, but we wake up early this morning and it is dumping rain outside, which we're all very excited about. <laughs> but is that gonna stop us? Not a chance. So we'll see you on the Kenai River very soon. Let's go. Oh my gosh, right? Pause it there. So let me give you some context on this fishing trip, fishing rental fiasco we had with Jeremy of the Soldatna. Uh, so about two months before we left on this Alaska trip, I called the River Rock Lodge in Soldatna, got a hold of a guy named Jeremy who sold me about $750 worth of kayak rentals and fishing rentals for everybody when we were going to get there. And he sent me these beautiful videos that you're looking at right now with these grizzly bears, the fish, it was magnificent. And I had the impression that this is where we were going when we showed up. But as you can see in the video you're about to flip back to, uh, that was not the case at all. So it started our Alaska fishing trip off on a bit of a rocky start. So we're out here salmon fishing for the first day. We had a terrible miscommunication with our guide on where he, I thought we were going to this beautiful kayaking lake. We show up at the lodge and this is what we had to look at. This river is running so fast, there is just no chance that we are going to be able to kayak. So we're going to try this for a bit. We got a bit of a refund. Oh, they caught one. Oh my gosh, see that's the hope. That's the hope. We got them right now. But So what we're going to do is we're going to fish here for as long as we can. Hopefully catch a salmon out here. And then what we're going to do is head back and look for the clear water where you can actually see into the water and see all these salmon swimming up the river. So this is quickly turning out to be less of an instant payoff experience than we thought. I just spent maybe, a, we spent, we've been here maybe three hours fished. I fished at least. I never stopped casting for two hours, fueled by determination. <laughs> what we're doing here is, well, I think we got to go find them around 6 p.m. This is around three o'clock in the afternoon right now. We spent another three hours. We're gonna go get a quick little lunch break and we're gonna hit the river again where we get to go see the, see the fish in the river. For our first day of fishing, this is the coolest thing that we have seen so far. Oh. Just got a face full of dirt. Oh, that shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Exactly. This is pretty sweet. On every good adventure, there is at least one plan that goes haywire. It's just what happens, and you gotta learn how to deal with it, flow with the punches, still have fun anyways. That's where most of the fun happens on these adventures. So when that first day happened and some plans went a little off track. Not everybody was feeling at their highest hopes. So that's why I took them out and we started looking for salmon. We started looking for other experiences to have fun. We saw salmon spawn in the lake. We saw beautiful sights and we actually went up and found the fishing spot that we were going to fish in tomorrow morning, which was Russian River. And this was one of the most idyllic Alaska images anyone could imagine. It was magnificent. So this is our second day of fishing here on the Kenai River. We all got fishing rentals. We're out here having a good time. Uh, we just caught the first fish, man, first fish of the trip. I won't lie, that was scary. I was, it wasn't even a salmon. It was a little brown trout, I think. And we, I hooked it under the fin, so it felt so bad. So we had to let that little guy go, but it was just, you had to pull the hook out. It was so sad, this poor little fish. We're out here, we're looking for salmon, trying to catch some salmon. Just happy we caught the first one. The fishing is on. Let's go. Here we go. We got another one on the line. Here we go. This is a little one. That's like a, um, a brookie, maybe. I think that's a brook trout. Oh, he, oh, man. <laughs> 
We just caught a trout. We unhooked it. We got. <laughs> that thing went right through the that net. That was so cool. It was so small though. It went right through the net when we put it in. That was epic. We got another one. <laughs> this looks like a silver. Oh gosh. Oh hey. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see it? Here, let's look at it with the camera. Oh, that's a trout again. Gosh, is that beautiful or what? <laughs> oh, gosh, this is so cool. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Will you keep it? Look at this salmon we just got. Bring it in. This is such a beautiful animal, and we just killed it. I still haven't got the hook out. So I almost feel kind of bad, but I'm so grateful. This is part of a tradition. Kill these salmon. People have been doing it for thousands of years. Oh, we are so fortunate to be able to take part in it. So magnificent. So we did our second day of fishing and we have two fish back there ready to be eaten for dinner tonight. We're so excited. So we decided to call it early, head back home, uh, cook up some fish and that we've cooked it. We've caught ourselves, very exciting. And then tomorrow we have one more out on the ocean fishing trip thanks to my pops right here that got us a trip so we're gonna go out tomorrow we got a lot more to do up uh, but we, we showed it's possible today and that was the number one thing we came out for we're officially fishermen now let's go first piece of cooked salmon right here very proud that we were able to make it happen <laughs> very <laughs> proud uh this first piece of salmon we have not seasoned this at all. We threw it in with some garlic butter where we cooked it in the pan with some garlic butter and we left it a little bit on the rare side. And this salmon has more flavor than any other piece of salmon that you'll ever have from the grocery store that I've ever had. I... That is so good. That is such good salmon. Oh my gosh. You gotta try it. You gotta come to Alaska. <laughs> have you even tried it? Yeah, you tried it. I have. Yeah, okay. It's incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh guys, it's about 3.30 a.m. on our final full day of fishing here in Alaska. I'm filming this video outside uh, the apartment because I think everybody's kind of grouchy this morning. They don't want to wake up at 3.30, but the reason we're up this early is to go catch an ocean fishing trip. Uh, when salmon come up the rivers here in Alaska, when they start swimming up, they stop eating typically. So it's way harder to catch the salmon in the rivers. You have to snag them and run the line across their mouth, hopefully, and hook them. It's very hard to do. When they're in the ocean though, they're still eating. So the silver salmon are still in the ocean and likely still eating. So we're gonna go out there. We're going to cast a few spinner lines out there and hopefully catch the salmon before they start the migration and that should make for some really good fighting fish and hopefully uh somebody like my dad and i guess joe's done but hopefully my dad can catch a fish um anything for me is just catch and release today oh man we just gotta power through the early morning i'll see you at 6 a.m in seward alaska to go fishing So let me show you what we're doing here. My dad's over here fishing. We got these line counters on the rods to see how deep we're going. Most of the salmon, it looks like, are hanging out around 50-ish feet, somewhere right in that zone. So we're dropping them down and then just jigging these guys, trying to get something to bite. We're getting there. Hey, first trip. First salmon of the trip. I got one! Oh my god! 
Look at them, man. They won't grab one by one there. Bro, there's plenty of these guys going around. You guys keep it rough, dude. Oh, that's mine. That's a very pretty fish. Oh, my. Oh, you were deep. Wow, beautiful one. We don't know what he's got, but something phenomenal here. Wow, look at this. Oh, my gosh. What is that thing? <laughs> Look at this thing. What do you have? Look at oh. this thing. Whoa. I'm still 120. Whoa, there he goes. Oh my gosh. What do you have in there? Oh, all right, we get, we're into the fish. Oh, yeah. Woo. A halibut? You think you got a halibut? Probably a halibut. Chicken. Well, I was gonna say ping pong paddle, but he's bigger than that chicken. Well, get the picture. Oh, you, oh, you got a GoPro. Yeah. We'll pop and loose. But... Okay. Pop and loose. So, got him. Got him. You need like a yeah. You need like a federal license or something to keep these things. Is that what it is? What's that? You need like a federal license to keep them? Yeah, you gotta have a halibut permit. Did they know uh, it's a charter in Alaska? Is... <laughs> that was oh, pretty that cool. Oh, wow, <laughs> well done. Cool. Just keep it up. The seasickness has officially set in. On your turn? Oh yeah, I'm feeling it right now. So we're gonna power through, still gonna fish through the whole thing. But, oh, part of, part of catching all those good fish. We had a bunch of good luck, so now we got to give tribute back to the ocean <laughs> and bow down. <laughs> Something. So, because normally by this time we're doing a lot of fishing in the bay itself, either at the edge or halfway in the middle here. But right now, I'm still running on the outside. But it looks like some are starting to come in. A lot of long range combo guys said they're starting to get into it, quite a bit of them off offshore. Beautiful place. Look how easy you make it look. That knife helmet oh, does look good. Yeah. Oh, man, the beautiful leaves. Of course, that shark they're in. But yeah, Apollo's downtown. If you guys are still here and you want to have a restaurant cooking, they're one of them. And then the other one, I don't remember what the name of it is. Oh, Apollo's will cook. Yeah, downtown. Yeah, I just I don't know if they're open for lunch or not. I know they do dinners, but bring your fish to them, then they can actually cook it up. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So you just should have just seen a few clips of all those fish we caught on the ocean today. What we got today, well, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We cook this thing. This is a salmon, a silver salmon, the ellicott. Probably the biggest fish that we pulled into the boat today. So what we're going to do, uh, put some garlic butter on it already. Threw some brown sugar over the top of it. Yeah, brown sugar. We threw some brown sugar over the top, just some garlic butter. These things are so pure, they hardly need any seasoning. And we're going to broil it at about 450 for, I think, 12-ish minutes. And after that, we're going to pull out a done piece of fish and see what everyone thinks about it. Let's go. All right, there's a ton of that's what she says jokes going on behind me right now. <laughs> but the salmon. <laughs> Here is the salmon, just about done. We just. Oh, so we're gonna pull it out right now. Is it still wet? Is it? That is a done piece of fish, I think. So, we'll get some out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get some out, we'll have everybody try it, we'll see what they think. 
We're cutting it out right now. You're not going to bite it? Clipper, you want to try this? Yeah. Here. You got that fork, Sam? <laughs> Thoughts, Clipper? It's got a lot of bones in it. How's the flavor okay. compared to yesterday? Uh, oh, no. It's not a flavor, bro. I thought it was so good. I think your salmon recipe turned out better than what's his name's drink. You think? I think so. I think that's still really, really good salmon. So there's the pan fry was the ticket. The pan fry is the way. So we baked this one. Yesterday we pan fried them. And we got some footage on that as well. We could probably, we probably threw in somewhere in this video. Oh my God. Clipper, dude, it's not that bad. A bone. A bone. Oh no. A bone just went down my throat. I just ate the bones. <laughs> I just ate them. So before we end this video, I want to come clean that not everything went perfect on this trip. I know it like tries to look that way when I show off some of the clips. I was catching these fish, smiling, laughing. It did look that way throughout some of the clips, but not everything went perfect on this trip. The reason why was because of set expectations. I did a poor job of setting expectations on what adventure is supposed to be for people who come on these adventure crew trips with me. This Alaska trip was the first big adventure crew trip where I sold tickets for people to come with me. I bought most of the things that you saw on this trip with a group funded model. This is part of the adventure crew. It's what I do. I, but setting expectations was something I was not good at for this first trip. You see, adventure, in my opinion, is supposed to be about going to have an experience, not a tailored, custom, like guaranteed sort of thing that's going to happen when you get there, but to have an experience where you interact with the wildlife, you mess up, you have fun, you see other things, you adapt, huh? plans change. That's what adventure is about because that's when you have the truly the greatest times. Uh, two people that came on this trip, though, did not have that same opinion. So when we didn't catch fish on the first day, when one of the guys chose not to come fishing and then got upset that he didn't catch any fish because he felt like he wasn't a part of the group and it wasn't. There were just some hard things that happened on this trip. Uh, and it's what happens when you get big groups like this together. I'm going to try to make it much better come up on future adventure crew trips. And I do believe that everyone left this trip with memories that'll last a lifetime, both good, mostly, and probably a few bad. However, this adventure crew trip, according to a few of the people that came and me, was the experience of a lifetime. And they're only gonna get better as we continue to go. So if you want to join me on adventure crew trips, these aren't vacations, they're adventures where you have to be willing to adapt, have to be willing to grind a little bit, have to be willing to have some fun, then click the link in the description of this video and join me on the next adventure crew trip coming up very soon. We've got Hawaii. I've got some plans for South America coming up, Iceland, a road trip through the Southwest America. So there's a lot of fun things coming up and all you need to do is click the link in the description. If you want the opportunity to come have experiences just like this Alaska crew trip and maybe even better in the future, I hope to see you out there soon, champ. Stay wild. Be free.